What's up guys? So today, uh, there's not a whole lot going on here in Okinawa. It's overcast Saturday, there's like a tropical storm in the area. So it's a little windy. We're not getting any rain yet, but uh, they're saying tonight we're supposed to get some, some rain and higher winds. But the thing originally was a super typhoon and it's supposed to take, one of the models was showing it directly hitting Okinawa, which would have been devastating to the island. Uh, it was like 160 mile an hour winds or something like that. But thankfully enough, the storm died down. It's like a category one right now, and it ended up swinging north. So, uh, southern tip of mainland Japan is actually going to get a little bit of that storm. But down here in the south in Okinawa, there's not a whole lot going on right now. So, very fortunate. I was kind of stressing out with the GTR. I was like, oh man, I just got this car. Uh, I don't have a full enclosed garage. Uh, it's more like a garage slash carport. I don't have like the actual roll up door to protect the car. So I was sitting there thinking like, oh great, the super typhoon's coming. What am I gonna do with the car? Like, I was already going around coworkers like, hey, do you have a garage? Do you have a garage? Do you have room? Just in case, you know, can't can't be too safe, right? Um, shoot, I was even thinking about putting a mattress on it. No, I'm just kidding about that. But, um, but yeah, so the storm's not coming. It's just a little overcast, so I'm gonna run to Starbucks, grab some coffee. Uh, the wife, she's obsessed with this new watermelon passion fruit tea thing they have out here um, so we'll just be cruising but I figured while I'm on the way there might as well talk about the GTR and some of the big plans I have for it uh, not necessarily big plans but some things that I've already been shopping around looking at you know doing whatnot uh, so first off I've had the car for about two weeks now and I can say I absolutely love it uh, it does live up to the hype I mean, it's a 1995, the car is what, 22 years old now? But, I mean, Nissan, great job on the car. It, everything works, the AC's ice cold. Like the little things that you really don't think about on a car like this work, it really makes a, a big difference. And I really, you know, just like the comfort, the comfort of the ride, the, the, the quality of the ride and whatnot. Um, it does have a Kakimoto catback exhaust. The tip's like four inches, it's massive. Uh, sounds pretty good. It's not overbearing like some of the cars I've had in the past, but when you step on the gas, you can definitely hear it. Um, I'll probably make a, a video, like a sound test video or a review or something like that, so you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about. Uh, and then it has TN coilovers on it. Uh, these were all installed by the previous owner. The coilovers are super nice. I've actually never owned a car with coilovers. It's always kind of cheap in the suspension game. Uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, I never really thought it made that big of a difference. But after driving this car with coilovers, it is a V-Spec model, and I know V-Spec models have better suspension than the non-V-Spec models, but I'm wondering if the TN coilovers are better than the V-Spec coilovers. Uh, I don't know, maybe you guys can shed some light on that, because uh, I, I haven't driven a V-Spec with the, the factory suspension, so I don't know if this was a downgrade or an upgrade, but um, if, if you guys know, please let me know. Um, but with these, with these coilovers, it does handle uh, like it's on rails. I used to have an MR2 Spider way back in the day. And that thing was a blast. It felt like I was driving a little go-kart. Uh, it didn't have a lot of power, but the handling aspect just made that car a blast to drive. And even though this car is way bigger, it just, it kind of has the same feel. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but when you throw the car into turn, there's no no body roll, no sway, it just goes. You point and shoot, uh, which I've always really appreciated out of a good, out of a car. So. So plans for the car, I've got like all these things I want to do. I'm just trying to prioritize and see what I want to do first. Do I want to, you know, go like the engine route, which is normally me. I'm normally a power guy over looks, um, but I mean, this car is so beautiful and I've seen a lot of GTRs drive around the island and I was thinking maybe putting some rims and tires. I don't know, it's kind of cliche, but this car already, already has power. Um, the speed limits here in Okinawa on the highway are 80 kilometers an hour, which is not even 60 miles an hour. It's like 45 or something like that. So there's really no need for like a big power build out here while I'm in Okinawa for the next three years. Uh, so I was thinking maybe doing some some filters, some cone filters, or maybe like an induction kit, just so I get a little bit more turbo noise coming from the engine. Yeah, a few horsepower. Uh, but other than that, I mean the exhaust. I already, I would have put a cat back, but it's already got one. I was thinking maybe a catless downpipe, but we have a two year inspection here and I know they're pretty strict. So I have to put a test pipe or catless downpipe on and then, you know, 
here in a few years. I'd have to take it off, put the stock catalytic converter on. Hopefully that passes the inspection. It's just one of those things. Like if I take the cat off and sit in my garage, like who knows what's going to happen to it. And I don't want to be trying to track down a cat when the inspection time comes. So I'm kind of on the fence about that right now. But, um, but definitely rims and tires. I like 18s, some a little bit wider. So I can put some meteor tires on here. So right now it's got the stock GTR 17 inch rims, uh, 245, 45, uh, 17 all around. So rims and tires, we'll see. Uh, but other than that, like, I mean, the stock seats, they're like freaking racing seats. You know, anything that compared to anything I've driven before, they really hug me. Um, so, you know, yeah, it'd be nice to have like a bride seat or get some Recaros, but I can't really justify the cost versus the performance maybe you know i'll ride in a car with somebody who's got some aftermarket seats see see how it goes but for now it's really rims and tires i've got the coilovers i've got the cat back um, possibly doing some uh, turbo upgrades doing the the, uh, the steel compressor wheels so right now it's got the ceramic ones and i've read and i've been told that under high boost applications the ceramic can tend to fail and the steel ones are a lot more reliable thinking about going with that route maybe but I don't know maybe you guys got some tips for me some GTR owners out there you guys can give me some insight you know point me in the right direction but uh, right now I'm just a happy camper got a GTR I'm living in Japan kind of living the American fanboy dream you know growing up watching Fast and Furious and all that you know just being a gearhead this is actually my dream car R33 love this car ever since I was growing up I was born in 90 so for me like right when I started appreciating cars when I had all my hot wheels was right around the mid 90s and this car was Godzilla thanks for watching uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe I'm gonna have a lot of GTR stuff coming uh, I said it before there's a lot of car meets a really big car scene out here I'm gonna try to just dive into everything go from there but i'm gonna be out here for a while so lots of car stuff lots of jdm stuff coming so that's your thing make sure you subscribe throw me a like share and stay tuned for the next video i'm gonna try to get weekly videos up uh, my work schedule is pretty nice right now i'm working monday through thursday so i've got a lot of time it just matter me being lazy or not you know just getting the camera out until next time thanks